All right, so uh, first, um, this aptly does what you kind of think it does. It returns the first value observed and completes the stream, right? Um, so if I own, I'm only concerned with the first thing that comes out, then I just call first, I get that value, and it completes it. I don't have to worry about unsubscribing or anything. It's completed, it's done. And just give me the first thing and I'm out of here. Um, it's also a filtration operator, uh, which I kind of have learned as part of this talk, actually. I was often just calling, you know, dot first or just passing first into my pipe. Um, but it also allows you to uh, have a predicate function that's used to filter for the desired value, the, that first value that you actually want. Um, and it also allows for a selector to be used to transform the returned value out of first. So it's a little bit more powerful than just using it. Um, so those are optional, obviously, so we don't have to provide those arguments, uh, but you can have a predicate and a selector as well. Oh, and then thirdly, it also supports an optional default value. Um, so first is really useful for once and done handlers. So let's take a look at an example in our app. So we're gonna go to powers containers. Uh, so in this example, uh, we actually saw this being used up above where I was checking. So I have, I'm um, using NGRX, so I have an array of these powers in my NGRX state, in my store. Um, but I only want to dispatch this load power action if I actually need to go out and load um, those, or load that power. Um, so what I can do is I can say, this is a selector function. I know this is a little ngrx -y, so um, if you are lost or anything, certainly. Uh, let me know. Uh, but basically, this is going to return an observable of the number of powers, and so an integer value of the number of powers that's in my um, in my store. And I basically, I'm only concerned with getting that first value. I don't really care what comes afterwards. So, like, if I add another power, I don't care that that goes from zero to one. I just care right now. Tell me how many I got, right? And so I'm going to pipe this to first, and so it's going to receive that first value. It'll complete that observable stream, and then I can map that, and I'm mapping it to a Boolean observable, and just checking if the total number of powers in my store is greater than zero. So it's a simple, pretty simple pattern in NGRX to see if something's already there, and I don't want to load it twice. Uh, we can see here in our Marvel, I should probably be going to the Marvel diagrams first, sorry about that. Uh, we can see here I've got an observable stream that does A, B, C, and D over time. If I use the first operator, I'm only going to get that first value. And then you see the line there, it actually completes that observable. So it's done. Yeah. So you said that it takes a predicate. Would, would that allow you to remove the map? Uh, in my example? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I guess I could have done that. Yeah, so it just allows us to transform the returned value. So it's basically like a map. Um, I'm actually not sure if you would be oh, able to so remove a map. Would be, yeah, no. you, you, the selector would be like a map? I think you'd have to use a, a selector to transform. The to predicate. transform the value. If you just did a predicate, you would still get it. Oh, because, yeah, the predicate is like a filter right. and filtration, right? Thanks, John. I told you that's why I need you here, man. So I don't. Uh, let me go ahead and just so this is kind of, I'm going to exit out of that. The predicate is just what we're first. So the is your filtration. And the yeah, predicates your first and then, and then yep. Cool. Uh, look at that. First. It's two parameters. I, I don't know if they have like, you know, some functions kind of check arguments and kind of automatically. Yeah. So I don't know if there's order that has to be supplied or if they can kind of figure it out. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So you can. Oh, why did I lose first? So it emits only the first value or the first value that passes some test, and that would be your predicate function, which basically gets the value, uh, the index, the uh, the number of so like uh, 
zero if it's the first value of the notification, one if it's the second notification, and on. And then also the source observable. And then you can also do a selector where it's going to receive that value and that number and then return that value out. So that would be where you could get rid of the map. Yep. And then you have a default value as well. Um, and I'm not sure if some of these are optional. You'd have to kind of see. So this instance, it's got predicate. Let's see, there's another first. I, I do. I think the table tells you whether they're optional or not. Yeah, those are optional. Oh, it does. There you go. There you go. Yeah, yeah. I don't know about yeah, so you might be able to just skip predi predicate and give it a result. And then the first value will come out. Then you could have the second argument be the result selector. Yeah. Yeah, if you had to. If they don't allow you to shorthand it and just give the selector the result selector function. Return true predicate? You could just write when I'm done with that says take anything return true. Yeah, yeah. I mean you could do a fat error function. Um <laughs> Yeah, but I think if you keep, uh, you know, go home and check out the docs. I think if you keep scrolling down, you might see that maybe you can just skip that predicate on first and just give it, um, go right to the selector. Or like he said, you could just have a simple function that returns true. Good question. Appreciate it, man. Any other questions on first before we move along? Just a note, I, I think with default value, um, the original observable will have to complete without first being hit. So basically, the original observable will have to complete without emitting anything or without emitting anything that matches your predicate before the default value would actually be returned. So you're, you need to hit a completion before the default. So only upon completion will I then get the E if I have a default value. 